Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. You'll notice I finally got a haircut. And reason being, this car is going to get painted soon. I didn't want to drop lots of extra hair into it while I was painting. Anyway, today's a big day. I'm finally going to get this thing turned all one color at least. So I'll get that, prim that top primed, trunk primed, and the tops of the doors. So I'll make this short and sweet. Y'all hang out. Well, here's the fun that you missed. Got the entire car masked up. Um, it's wrapped around those. If any overspray gets into that, it's fine because this hood's going to come off, trunk's going to come off, and then I'm going to sand down in there probably an inch or so when I shoot my paint. I'll shoot the paint for the trunk lid and the hood off the car. Y'all already know that. So this took me about two hours uh, to get this whole car masked. And you all already know this, but a bad mask job will make for a very bad paint job. Even if the paint and the texture looks nice, and then you see over here there's paint all over the trim, or you pull the masking tape and there's a big cut back into the clear coat or something, that, that looks bad. So I took my time. I left this trunk popped. I'm going to prime through here also since it was a little bit light. And after I shoot it once, I'm going to shut this trunk and get down with it. So I'll do at least two medium coats. If I've got extra, I'll go ahead and do three over. Be sure my body work stays good and covered. And I'll have a little bit extra to sand off later. Like these sail panels, whatever you call them. I've wiped the car. I went ahead and did grease and wax remover. Got all the dust after I blew it off. Then I did my uh, glass cleaner with some microfibers. So everything is good to go to shoot, and I've got my primer mixed up. I'm going to go ahead and stick y'all on the tripod, and we'll get her knocked out. in a few little spots but that happens
looks like a white car now. Got a few small runs, but my, my ultimate goal here is to uh, wet sand this with probably four or five hundred. I'll probably wet block it, actually, and clean it off, and it'll be ready to shoot. I'll have to go back by and touch up a few little spots, anything showing through. But I think the roof looks really slick, and I think what I'll do next time, or when I paint the car, get a little bit lower so that I can actually reach the roof very easily and nicely, and then I will just lay on my head if I have to to spray up under the quarters and stuff. But anyway, I just needed it one more good day of masking, prepping, priming, so there it is. Thank y'all for watching, and we'll be painting soon. Thank you.